hello and welcome back to my channel guys today we are making a quang a quang coco using this frozen spinach we'll be using also some smoked chicken some dried fish some crayfish and here with me guys i have these spices okay this is country onions this is uh, calabash nutmeg and these ones that you saw me touch there like that, it's called Grains of Salem. Also, we'll be using some white pepper, some black pepper, some garlic, ginger, some onions, and chili, okay? That one is optional. And do not forget your palm oil, okay? And some salt. So, without talking too much, guys, let's begin the preparation okay remember i told you we are using frozen uh grated uh equang, okay this cocoa yam was grated and i tied them and i kept them in my freezer you can see it's because of the low shading that we were constantly having that made my equang to stick together normally it doesn't stick together because of the way i freeze it okay so if you are interested you can visit Lucy's kitchen and I'm going to sell you some already tied ekwang. You just need to do like you see me do and cook. Okay, guys, I am very sorry for the lengthiness of this video. The video is very long because I want you to get all the process in details. Okay, so now you see me now. I will prepare all my ingredients so that the cooking process will be very easy. Usually, ekwang itself is a very long process. Before you cook ekwang, you have to prepare yourself because ekwang takes hours to cook. Okay? Luckily for us here in South Africa, we have alternative leaves. If we don't, you don't have kokoyam. We have alternative alternative leaves. Some people can use spinach. Yeah, I was using one vegetable like that. That is called cola green. Okay. Yes. Now we are going to prepare the spices. I am grinding the grains of Salem. That is the name of this one. Grains of Salem. Just remove the grains from inside and discard the, the skin. Okay. And guys, I am using my pepper stone. Okay. These are not things you will use a blender for. They are very dry and coarse. So pepper stone will go. But if you don't have pepper stone, maybe you can use your mortar, mortar and pistol to do this. There we have it. It's called the calabash nutmeg. Okay? Yes. You remove the calabash and the nutmeg is inside. You can see these spices are so medicinal. If you are new to my channel, you are most welcome. Please do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel, okay? Comment down below and tell me, when last did you cook ekwang? Have you ever prepared ekwang that was frozen before? Yes, there is a way you will cook it. Keep watching to the end of this video so that you will see how I prepared it. My ekwang did not scatter, it did not become mushy at all everything came out perfectly and it tasted so nice okay now we are going to crush the country onions country onions is very hard okay it is very hard so i use foil pepper i will first heat it but i do not advise anyone to use foil pepper because at the end the foil pepper got mixed with my my country onions okay you can use a tablecloth for this you can see how i wasted it you can use a tablecloth that will go will work well for you not a foil paper you grind it now i'm going in with my garlic and i will also add my ginger and my chili okay what you see me i'm just preparing my ingredients i'm just preparing all my my ingredients before i will begin cooking the equa
now that our ingredients are well blended i'm going to remove it and then i'll keep it aside Now it's time to blend the crayfish. Crayfish is a very, very important ingredient in cooking your equine. Make sure you have enough crayfish, enough dry fish. Any other protein can, it's just an addition. But these two things with equine, you can never go wrong. Now guys, I will be preparing my dry fish. This dry fish was smoked right here in Lucy's kitchen, okay? Yes, this dry fish is very delicious. You can use any dry fish of, of your choice, but I had this one and my egg one tasted so delicious. Now just to fix the fish, you wash it and debone it. I will be using the head of the dry fish. Keep watching to see how I will be using the head of the dry fish in my cooking. If you want to buy this dry fish, when you get to the butchery, you should ask them for cap capella. Yes, is it cavella? Ask them for cavella. This is not a uh, mackerel. It's not Morocco fish. This is cavella. Yes, it's very tasty, and it got a lot of flesh in it. So yeah, the, this is the head of my fish. So now my ingredients are all prepared. You can see here the, the chopped onions and everything. Now to begin the cooking, you have to spread a little bit of palm oil underneath your pot, okay? We usually do this back home so that your equine will not get stuck at the bottom of your pot, okay? Yes, we just do this. I really do not understand the myth, but... We grew up doing like this before we cook equine, okay? So after doing this, I am going to line up the head of my fish, okay? It is going to serve as a barrier between my equine and the pots. We will just make do because the heads are not much. So now you begin to place your equine alternatively in the pot, okay? Putting one on top of the other, making sure you are leaving a little bit of gap so water and ingredients and spices can penetrate. Remember, we don't like turn equine, okay? So that now after putting the equine, I will put in some meat some fish and some crayfish okay i will do that alternatively until i will sample all of my equine in the pots
Now I'm going to dissolve my spices with a little bit of hot water. I will put that inside my pot. Now I'm going to place my pot on the fire and cover it. Doing this without water so that my pot becomes a little bit warm. Okay, remember if you put water directly, it might it might scatter your equa. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of warm water. Not much, just a little bit. I will cover my pot and I will allow it to cook for about five to six minutes. After that, I'm going to come add in another water. I will be adding in my water bit by bit until I see that my ekwang is now it has now come together. If you cook ekwang, you will understand what I'm talking about because cocoa yam okay because uh, this ekwang because this ekwang it is made of freshly grated cocoa yam then wrapped in leafy greens and slowly steamed with various type of fresh and smoked fish okay so now i'm adding in my oil the reason why i'm adding in my oil at this stage is, is so that the oil gets cooked together with my ekwang okay i don't want a situation where the ekwang will be cooked and then i add oil when you add your oil earlier even the kokoyam will not itch even though i am using red kokoya okay so make sure to to shake your pot like this you don't put a spoon inside at this at this stage you let it cook until when it is almost done that's when you can use a spoon in your ekwang you just rotate it like this on both sides okay then you cover it but now i'm going to add in more water because i love my ekwang with a lot of water i don't like dry food most of the food i cook i make sure it is it is it's got liquid in it okay and that's how my husband also loves it hmm guys my kitchen smells divine at this stage now you might want to start stirring it gently lift it up okay gently lift it up like you see me do okay you don't have to stir it too much just like this is fine and i think we, my ekwang is ready now i'm just going to cover it for about five more minutes then it will be ready to be served If you have been watching this video up to now thank you so much for your time please tell me are you going to prepare ekwang anytime soon if yes tell me how are you gonna make it okay